Hello friends, in this video I will be creating an app to demonstrate multi-threading. So click on start a new Android Studio project, give the name as EX7, click on next, AP level 16, next, plank activity, next and click on finish. So this will start your app. Delete the hello world and drag a linear layout vertical to the screen. Then drag a progress bar horizontal to the screen. So make the length to full length. Then drag a large text to the screen. So double click, delete the text and change the ID to txt this. Then drag a button, double click, change the text to start. Okay, so that's all in designing. Then go to the text view in button, add a on click listener, so and give the name as start progress. Okay, click inside uh, this one and go to the bubble symbol and click on create start progress of view so this will create the function for you so before that we will need to declare some variables so first variable for the progress bar so private progress bar progress then private text view so we will give the name as t1 so then inside the on create we will declare the variables progress equal to progress bar of find view by id r dot id dot progress bar okay. then t1 is equal to text view of find view by id of r dot id dot txt this okay then you can come to your progress bar function and create the thread here so we will create the thread runnable uh, runnable equal to new runnable of so it automatically insert the run function then inside the run function we'll have a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus so inside the for loop we we'll declare a value final sorry final int value equal to i then we will call a function do some work of so progress dot post of new runnable so this will create the, again the run function here set the uh, text value that is t1 dot set text of updating so this will display the text updating whenever this thread is called then progress dot set progress of value okay. so then this will set the value so semicolon here and the semicolon here then we'll create the thread new thread of runnable and start the thread okay so whenever this thread is inside the for loop it will call the function do some work so we'll next write the function do some work private void 
do some work of so here we'll have our try catch block try then catch okay some exception yeah, e. so inside the thread uh, sorry try block we'll make the thread to sleep for some time so thread dot sleep of 2000 okay so once this is over you can run your application by clicking on the green symbol you can see the app is building can select the device here so I will select Jenny motion and click on OK so I'll open the device so you can see the progress bar and click on start so after some time you will see the updating message and now you can see here the progress bar is incrementing on some small small increments So what is happening is inside the code the thread is running and every it will sleep for some time come back and update the progress bar okay thank you for watching